Creighton with World's Greatest Kiting. I'm here with my friend Cassie. Hey guys. About to enjoy another full day at the 2018. Where, what are we doing here? What are we, what, what is? This is the American Kite Flyers Association National Convention. That's where I'm at. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. You're at Nationals. Yeah. We're, thank you. But right now you're in the fly market. Yes. Basically. All of what she said. Here we are, Friday morning, round table discussions, 203. So part of the national convention is these breakout sessions. There's some classes, if you will, or workshops, some sewing. You can learn about different types of kites, some indoor flying. Today, I'm walking into one that is a conversation about the the nature of the AKA, the president and some other board members of the American Kite Flyers Association hanging out talking about the future. I'll leave you out of that and we'll move on to some other things in a little bit, but check out check out this really cool kite that is in the hallway here. Oh, and, and, and the other thing, I still fly, I still want my, my age is on that, and of course, Taking a break from the convention today, checking out Bossier City. We're at this mall area, going to a little steakhouse, but I saw this boat over here. This big boat. This boat over here, but it's not an actual operating boat. But I it was kind of cool. Now that is a big. That's the real vessel. deal there. It's a real paddle wheeler. Okay, Saltgrass. Friends, this evening is the night of the auction. There's some cool kites back here, aren't there? Snickers kite. Oh, check this one out. So tonight's the night of the auction. I am number 100. Hopefully, I am able to use this successfully for a kite I think is gonna be in here, maybe not. I'm gonna try to get some things in the backpack and take home to beautiful St. Petersburg, Florida and use on my favorite beach, Treasure Island. So not only is there an auction, there is a dinner right through those doors. It's pretty good food. Let me show you around, see what is laying around these tables that is up for auction. Whether you'll need to tune it or not, I'm not sure, but it's the only kite here, I think, that has all the spars, all two of them. <laughs> this is instant gratification. Oh, so Step right up. I am here to make deals. Fantastic deal. Feel me. Now, I must, must point out in this fine kite that, among other things, is this Canada bag that it doesn't fit in, but it still goes with it anyway. I will sell you this kite. It, it pains me to say this. But for a mere 25 bucks, it's yours. For a mere 25. I'm out the door. The bar is open over at the far corner. Help yourself to an adult beverage or two or three. And Friends, I'm here at the Great Kite Auction. Great Kite Auction. I'm number 100. Let's check out what is for auction here tonight. Here's one I've never seen, a Lexus kite. Very cool, I like this cellular kite here. I always like that view, huh? This fulcrum is really rad. Frog. Cool black delta there.
interesting kites. The cool chevron here. Check this one out. Check this out, it's a kite buggy. What a cool piece of art, wow. Who, who put it in? Bob Kirchhoff. Bob Kirchhoff apparently bought it for me last year. <laughs> Different. One of my favorite kite makers, Ron Gitlin. Very cool, the detail. This one. A WIFO. One of the most interesting quad line kites I've ever had the opportunity to fly. A lot of people here tonight, exactly 100 people. I am the 100th, the most procrastinated, but glad I'm here. I'm in a little bit of trouble, guys. I, I've already started. I got the first kite, I bought it from the, the kite bin over here, the bargain bin. I mean, $5, what, what was I supposed to do? He got this for $5, that's all he paid for is $5. See, see all the things you can get here? <laughs> Everybody's finishing up their dinner, checking out the kites, deciding what they're gonna pay for these things. We'll try to pay for them. There's some cool ones. Stand up, raise your hand. If you think you're going to establish a pay, one, one eye old, old guy coming at you. Five, five. We have 25. Do they know what it is? Can I get 30? 25, can I get 30? 25, can I get 30? 230, item 237, the Stan Swanson Condor. Can I get an opening bid of $50? 60, I'm 70 looking for 70, 60, uh, 70 looking for 80, 80 looking for 90, 200 for looking for 210, all down to 200, going once, going twice, serve for $200 too. Number 15, a giant shark cut. I expect, I think it should be easy to get an opening bid of $100. I don't know. I'm pretty stuck on good old Ted. I'll go 175. Anybody who wants to boost that donation to ensure Scott doesn't get outbid, take him money and he will then raise his bid. So, yeah. pull out your cash, run the money over to Scott, and he will give us a final figure. All right. <laughs> Come on, cash. Roll in. We're not rolling in, cash. <laughs> Anybody? You're oh, look at it! <laughs> We're over 200! What do we have as a final figure? 210! 210! What's your better number is? 90, 66! 99 for $210 from the Star Parker! Hey! Thank you, Ted! Friends, I couldn't help myself. I got another kite. So there's two kites in this bag. One is a sport kite. It just says sport kite. There's no specific name. It is going to be fun to open this up 
and fly it. I'll show you guys what these look like. There's some missing parts. We'll fix them together. I'm going to wrap this day up, head back to the, the house that some friends and I are staying at. So thanks for joining me today, everyone. There's another full day tomorrow. Something to look forward to. Until then, happy flying.